together, our voices will be heard. Victims will feel supported, and perpetrators will know that we won't tolerate this anymore. So back to Christine Mao from Kimberly Clark, who conceived the grand concept that became no more. She's an amazing woman, wife, mom, very successful in her work. She's also a survivor of both domestic violence and sexual assault, and that's something we didn't know when we recruited her to be part of this initiative. But that's how these issues unfold. That's how it happens. They've been so hidden for so long that when you give even the smallest opening, the tiniest hint of understanding, people will share their experience and they'll work with you to become part of the solution. When we talk about these issues, the pain they cause, the lifetime of healing that they take, doors open for everyone to join the movement. Let me give you an example. Several months ago, I had lunch with three friends, all of whom are high level, very, very um, accomplished women in communications and management. They all work at companies, you know. And it, it was right before I started working with the NFL, and so we were talking about that and domestic violence and giving the statistics that one in four and how companies can get involved. We moved on to something else, and then I think they were, there was some disbelief around the statistics. And really? Really one in four? And so we came back and we're talking about it a little bit more. Um, and out of the blue, one of the women at the table raised her hand and said, well, I'm your one in four. And, you know, mouths opened. My own included, honestly. And she proceeded to tell us her story. She, and her, with, with this overarching message that abusive relationships come in all shapes and sizes. Her first husband never physically abused her, but he came close a number of times and damaged a lot of stuff in their home. But it was the mental and emotional cruelty and the things he did to isolate her from family and friends that caused the greatest and most lasting damage. She summoned the strength to leave him, and she took back her maiden name as a symbol and a reminder that she would never lose herself again.